This is a common size brush that you're going to use a lot, okay? You're going to dip that in your oil like so. And then you're going to take your tile and you're going to work your brush in circular motions on that tile. Here we go. Notice that I've pushed the brush down just a little bit. Don't push it down hard. Don't jam it down onto the tile, but lay it down on your tile and work it in a circular motion in that little bit of oil that you see right there. That's all you need, just a little bit of oil to work that brush, flip it over, work the other side, and then take your towel and lay your brush on the towel. You're going to push that brush down like so and push your finger across the end of it so that you can get the excess oil off of it. Now it's ready for you to paint with. Now you're going to have to have some paint. That means you're going to have a palette. Our palettes are made out of metal and they have a metal top that protects our paint so that the paint slides underneath the lid, like so. You take your brush, work a little bit on the tile, and then you take this brush and you're going to put it into the paint that is on the palette. Find a color that you want to work with. Here's a nice bright red. This is our yellow red and you'll work that brush in a circular motion as you can see. And then you take that brush, you're going to take some, uh, a piece of tile like so, and you'll lay that brush on the piece and pull forward. Always remember to pull toward you, okay? See how that paint path is right there? As you pull forward toward you, you can smooth that out by brushing over the strokes like so and get a nice, smooth, even path. Always remember to pull toward you. Never pull your brush. Never pull your brush away from you like this. See what happens when you pull away? It doesn't come out right and it doesn't come out smooth either, okay? So always remember, as long as you pull that brush toward you and pull methodically, don't pull fast, just lay the brush down and pull. Pull toward you and then pull some, another stroke and another stroke. Now this doesn't mean that you have to have straight strokes. It depends on what you're painting. If you're painting something rounded, you're going to bring that stroke in like so. That's what's called a comma stroke. We also have a dot. And you can take the corner of the brush like so, lay it on that tile, and just go like so. That is the dot. The dot can be smaller but this is a dot. A dash or, or a slash shot would be like this. There's your dash, all right? You can make a combination of strokes, like so, like so, and like so, and you have formed a little flower. It begins to look like a flower. Shapes. Always thinking about shapes.